Hi there and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Lauren, this is Jenny. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors and today we're excited to be working with Flavor Pack Frozen Vegetables to bring you a perfect side dish that you're definitely going to want on your holiday menu this year. That's right, Lauren. Today we're making a delicious cheesy broccoli and cauliflower gratin. Should we get started? Yes, yeah, so we've actually already gotten started. So as we mentioned, we're working with Flavor Pack. We're using their frozen vegetable blend. Today we're using the broccoli and cauliflower blend, which is awesome because both broccoli and cauliflower in the same One bag. package, yeah. Makes it really easy. Um, so what we've done is we put our frozen vegetables, we actually used three bags, um, in our skillet. And we've just kind of been warming these up until they're cooked. And we've had these going for about five minutes. Um, so you want to let them go for about five to seven minutes. Just looking for them to be tender crisp. You want to be careful not to overcook it. So right. they look really good. Perfect. So I'm going to move these over into our... Hopefully not making a mess. Yeah. So we love Flavor Pack. They are a farmer-owned cooperative that is made up of family farms out in Oregon, and they believe that family farms are the best way to get that really great, nutritious food onto your table. Yes. So our next step, now that we have our um, cooked vegetables, I'm going to be putting a little bit of olive oil. We're using the same skillet here, which is nice. Adding in a little bit of garlic. And then some crushed red pepper. And I'm just going to saute this up here until it's fragrant. So it shouldn't take too, too long since our skillet has been nice and hot. Yeah. And while Lauren is working on that, I'm going to get started on our um, breadcrumb topping. So today we have some gluten-free breadcrumbs. You don't need to use gluten-free, but if you have someone in your life that needs that special dietary accommodation, Feel free to use your favorite gluten-free breadcrumb. I'm just going to add to it a little bit of olive oil and give that a good mix. Our uh, mixer over here is nice and fragrant, so I'm actually going to add back in our vegetables now. Mmm, it smells so good. Yeah. I love how quickly this comes together. Me too. And then I'm adding in half of this cheese here, so about a cup of cheese. The rest we'll be using for the top. I'm just seasoning the breadcrumbs with a little salt and pepper for some extra flavor. That looks really good. Who doesn't love cheese, right? It smells amazing too with that crushed red pepper. Perfect. So I'll move this a little closer to you. Thank you. So this looks pretty good. Just want all these flavors and ingredients to combine. So I'm going to add this to our pan here. I should hopefully get it all. I love how bright all green in. that broccoli is. Oh, that smells looks so super good. good. So cheesy. All right, so we're going to top it off with a little bit more cheese. One of our favorite things about using the frozen vegetables is this came together so quickly because we didn't have to wash, we didn't have to chop, we didn't have to do any of that um, because Flavor Pack did it for yeah. us. And what's interesting about Flavor Pack is that um, it, their whole process only takes four hours. So from when they um, pick the fruit or vegetable to when it's packaged and ready to go all frozen is only four hours. Mm -hmm. So they do all the, the cleaning, the slicing, the dicing, um, goes through the flash freezing process, um, which really locks in the, the nutrients, which we love. Yes. All right, so that looks pretty good. Perfect. So we've got our oven preheating um, to 400 degrees, and this is going to go in the oven for about 12 minutes or until the cheese is nice and bubbly. I'll turn this off here. And we actually have one that's done in the oven, so I'm going to switch this out. And we're just looking for that really nice, like, golden brown color on top. You want the top to get a little bit crispy. Um, but this is a really easy, great side dish. It's a great way to get some vegetables on the table during your holiday meals. I know sometimes those vegetables get pushed to the side, so this is a good way to make sure that it's still on your table. Makes for a nice, well-rounded meal. And this looks awesome. If you wanted this to be a little bit browner on top, you could um, broil it yes. for a little bit. Right, so I can give you the plates if you want to serve. Perfect. Oh, this looks nice and bubbly. This is going to be really good. Big pieces of broccoli here. Here you go, Thank Jenny. You. 
And you could even assemble this dish ahead of time and then just heat it up the day of to save you some time in the kitchen. Yum. Oh, it smells so good. There you go. Great way to get some veggies in. Yes. For sure. Dig in here. Mm. Super good. All those flavors came together so nicely. I love cheese, love garlic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, we hope you give this Broughton recipe a try. And for more holiday recipe ideas and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com slash holidays.